Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Dominate Fishing. I'm Dan Meyer and in today's short video, I just want to share with you guys some of my favorite crankbaits for casting shorelines for spring walleyes. We're in a really good time of the year right now to, to be walleye fishing. Actually, today is a great conditions for an all day bite of walleyes. So I'm gonna just talk about my favorite crankbaits for uh, catching walleyes this time of year. So this time of year, the walleyes, a lot of them are up shallow. Now they can be in a number of different spots, some of which, you know, some walleyes might be out deep again, but there's gonna be a lot of walleyes that just got done spawning or, you know, finished spawning a few weeks ago and they're still gonna be up shallow. They're gonna be in wood, they're gonna be, uh, you know, on gravel shorelines, um, or they're gonna be, you know, in some of the new growth weeds that are starting to grow. So this is a great time of year to work those shorelines and fish crankbaits. So starting with my first, uh, or the first lure we're gonna talk about, these are in no specific order. I'm kinda gonna pick which of these I'm gonna use depending on the situation. But the first one we're gonna talk about is a husky jerk. I really like throwing husky jerks this time of year. When I'm going to use a husky jerk, I'm going to uh, work them pretty aggressive, going to cast out and then just jerk that rod the whole way back. So cast out, jerk as I retrieve the whole way. Sometimes I'm going to put in a double jerk with a little pause at the end. Sometimes I'll just reel it in and jerk it the whole way back. And you kind of just got to change it up and see what the fish want to hit on any given day. But the nice thing about the husky jerks is they, they don't run too deep. They run pretty shallow. So you can... Uh, you can fish them over weeds, you can fish them over wood, assuming the wood is, is deep enough, you know, they'll go down a couple feet. And when you put a pause in it, it just kind of sits there, and a lot of times that's when you're going to get the strike. So sometimes you're just going to rip that thing all the way back, sometimes you're going to rip it, rip it hard, give it a couple pauses, and uh, you're just going to change it up and see what the fish want to hit. But it's a bait you can fish quickly because a lot of times when you're fishing the shoreline, what you'll have is you'll have some structure and then not a lot and the fish sometimes they'll be scattered down along the whole shore and sometimes they're going to be in little schools and little areas so you kind of what I like to do a lot of times is kind of fish the shoreline or the just move down the shoreline relatively quickly power fishing with these crankbaits and if I get a bite I'll fish that area out a little heavier or I'll go down the shoreline with the side imaging kind of mark some of the spots that have heavy cover and then uh, fish those pretty pretty aggressive so now getting into the lure number two it is the original floating Rapala here's a blue one here's a black and gold one these are some of my favorite spring lures they work really well for casting or for trolling they have a they don't have a big wide wobble which is something you don't want especially early in the spring if you're fishing post spawn or during the spawn you want more of a compact little wobble that's what the original Rapala does also when you put pauses in it it floats back up a lot of times that's key for getting a strike but you can fish it really slowly which is uh, what a lot of times what the fish want early in the year so I like to use the original Rapala in the same situations I would the husky jerk I'm more gonna use the Rapala first you want to see what you know size bait what speed what colors the fish want on any given day also you know the retrieve and the movement of the bait so I'm gonna fish the Rapala or the original Rapala in the same way as I would the husky jerk if I'm fishing over weeds over wood just working down a gravel shoreline just a little bit different profile bait if I feel like you know it's been a cold front the fish might be a little less aggressive that's when I use the original Opala a lot of times because I'll fish that really slow, just a real slow retrieve. Sometime pump the rod, meaning just move the rod forward. And then uh, when you go back, it puts a little pause in the bait, lets it float up a little bit, kind of changes the speed. A lot of times that's what gets the strike. So the third and final bait that I, uh, crank bait that I really like to use for spring walleyes is the Rapala Rip and Wrap. Here's one here, that's what it looks like. There's another one. These baits I like to use when I can fish them aggressive. Now, when I say aggressive, if the water's cold, if it's pre-spawn fish, you know, 
a cold front situation like we just had really unseasonably cold weather it was like a high in the mid 30s that's really cold for this time of year that's when when I'm fishing this bait which I call an aggressive bait I'm gonna rip this thing I'm not even gonna rip it I'm just gonna pull it forward nice and slow let it drop back down but day in and day out if I'm gonna go for an aggressive presentation it's warm during the day you know it was warm at night and I think the fish are gonna be aggressive I really like to work this bait this is gonna be my go-to bait unless I'm fishing heavy wood or something like that this does not do well with heavy wood or even weeds because you're gonna get snagged in the weeds you're gonna get snagged on the wood and lose a lot of your baits so anytime you're fishing sand gravel mud uh, if you're fishing wood, but you're fishing out of where the majority of the wood is, I really like to go with the rip and wrap. The, the wise really love it. It's a great bait for casting shorelines and getting those bites. So I fish the rip and wrap a lot, unless I'm fish, fishing heavy cover where I need to keep that bait higher. Then I go with the, the original Rapala or the Husky Jerk. So these are the lures that I like to use in the spring. I get a lot of uh, catch a lot of fish on them, so try them. If you've got some that you really like using, let me know in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next video.